Well, first of all, I work in social media, and so much has changed about the different types of tools that we have. For example, you know, Twitter is doing some very interesting work, um, but you have other companies like LinkedIn that are facing some privacy issues. You have uh, a medium like Facebook, which has grown so big, um, but is now sort of aging. And we are all trying to find out where where the innovation comes from next, how to, how to find the people that are most interested in experimenting and will most benefit from the idea of um, the understanding that they are able to decide what the open web becomes. The Mozilla Project builds many tools and projects that make it easy for you to uh, look under the hood of the web. Um, the interesting part about trying to create a message that is compelling and to find these audiences is that you'll find that with youth, um, they've grown up with social media and, and the web and they see themselves as consumers. They don't see themselves as content creators, um, as people who are empowered to drive what the future of the web um, eventually becomes. And so our challenge and our goal is to um, engage them with cool, fun things, to send things out in the world into the places where they actually live. And these places are currently Vine um, and the Pinterests. And quite often for youth, you will find them um, uh, not w wanting to use traditional social media. It's very tricky to kind of find the youth and children. So we find that the real true way to actually engage um, youth and find them is to provide mentors everywhere you possibly can. Um, and we do that with um, groups like uh, the Hive Learning Network. Um, and one of our main philosophies right now is we realize that we can build cool tools, um, but to, to youth and to people who don't know how to um, work with the web, um, the tools are not enough. We need to match that with educators, um, technologists, and people from around the world who are already interested in sharing that knowledge and equip them with curriculum um, that allows them to one-on-one -on -one bring these tools into the individual workspace, into schools, um, into the community centers, into libraries. Um, and, it's, and, and in that way, it becomes like a cycle where the humans are teaching each other and they bring what they've learned back into the web space and then share it back.